1043 my fam it is valentine in the morning 726 we got texts coming in a lot of people have seen a lot of people naked apparently but the reason for this conversation the reason for the season is jill what yeah. happened jill I live in a townhome, and with my building, I'm on the end, and I have two rooms upstairs, and the windows face the garages, where everybody comes and parks their cars and can walk in through that door into their homes, and these rooms aren't used, and so a lot of times when I do laundry and I don't want to fold it, I just bring up the pile and I throw it on the bed in one of the rooms, or I'll come into the room I'm currently in right now to get my charger or to grab my computer or something, and Sometimes I will walk into these rooms and I won't have any clothes on. Just I've just gotten out of the shower, I'm getting ready for bed, you know, whatever. And I always figured that people can't see me because of the way that the house is positioned. When you're on the ground and you're on the streets sure and you're enough. walking by, right. I think you can't see me. So this and is this the window that's right above your garage? Basically, yes. right? That one? Yes. Now this the town home across from you, they have a garage as well? They do, but okay. the way mine is positioned, I'm looking out to trees. I'm right. not so, looking okay, at directly gotcha. anybody right. else's place. You're not looking into somebody else's window, so the way you don't think their window's looking into you. Okay. Right. right. And the other day, I had my windows open, and I had walked in here, and I was not wearing a thing. I had just gotten out of the shower, and I came to grab my charger. And all of a sudden, I hear, hey, Jill. And it's my neighbor, Jean, the one neighbor I know this entire complex. She is so nice. She brings up sure. my, my trash cans every trash day from the curb up into my garage area. And she was letting me know that she was bringing up the, the trash cans. And I once I heard her say hi to me, I immediately dropped to the floor. And I was like, oh my gosh, She's like, hey, Jean. And then I ended up texting her saying, I'm so sorry. Could you see me? Yeah. And, the, and she goes, oh, I saw, I saw your shadow. And I thought, oh my gosh, Jean, I was naked. Did you oh, see anything? Gosh, she she's saw like, no, your I didn't shadow. See. No. Oh no. <laughs> she <laughs> says she couldn't see, but I put clothes on and I went outside and looked up. to where she was standing and I right. looked up and you can see right into the So trail. more than likely she saw more, more than your shadow. She just didn't want you to feel bad. I think Jean would have told me if she really saw me naked. I think she would have said something. Oh, what to a me. wonderful relationship you guys have. <laughs> we're, we're very close. Yeah, apparently. But I I'm just shocked now. I've been here, gosh, since twenty twelve. I've yeah. been in these rooms completely naked so many times. Okay, I, and having the twines the way they are. Yeah, we're struggling with how naked you are and how much you're talking <laughs> about being naked in this conversation. Now you're always <laughs> naked. <laughs> Usually it's just, you know, looking for clothes or, you know. Well, that, yeah, it, yeah, you haven't found them apparently, I guess, quite right. often. So I guess what we're but, saying is call now if you've seen Jill naked. Is it, is it turning no, into the no. <laughs> <laughs> But I think a lot of my neighbors have probably seen something over the years. Sure. Right. A little show and tell. Okay, gotcha. I will no longer be in these rooms without any clothes on. That sells prop. Or just pull the shades or something like that. Or use your shutters or whatever you got over there. Yeah, and the way they're closed, I thought no one could see me. They're not open. Right. They're you like, thought they're it was like an up. angle or right. So you thought tilted up. Yeah, yes. uh, yeah, that yes. gets you every time. You gotta watch out for that. Usually, mm -hmm. closing them works better than tilted up or tilted down. <laughs> right. All right, seven thirty-one. We got texts coming up. We got your calls. Eight six six five four four. My FM. Who was the last person that saw you naked? <laughs> <laughs> so, we really are a high quality show and safe for little ears. I mean, Jill told that whole story, and it was still I'm totally safe. safe. Yeah, totally safe. Yeah. Text Valentine in the morning. Three one zero four three. So I'm driving a Toyota, a Prius Prime. Um, you'll know Jill if you see her in her RAV4 because she's um, got the I will tinted say, windows. The tinted I, windows. I, I am always clothed when I'm in my RAV4. Always. Toyota thanks you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're driving Toyota's really, really good cars. Kids in a Highlander, just great rides. And if you want to find out which one's right for you, all you got to do is honestly hop on their website. Of course, you can go into a Toyota dealership. They're taking all the right protocols and stuff. But you can really surf the web. Buyatoyota.com. Buyatoyota.com. Find out which one is right for you. At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom in public, so we decided to sing about it. I love my Super Mega Roll is six regular rolls in one. Enjoy the go with Charmin.
everything, our farm, our stand, our pop-up shop, it really all started when we discovered the benefits of local raw honey for our family. And then we decided to turn it into a business. We were looking for something to help us get up and running. So we got the new Chase Business Complete Banking Account. It's more than a bank account. It comes with Quick Accept, which lets us take card payments anytime, anywhere in the U.S. using the Chase mobile app. Plus, we get same-day deposits at no extra cost. For us, it's more than honey. It's about sharing a little sweetness with the world. Get the new Chase Business Complete Banking Account with the essentials you need to help get your business going. Learn more at chase.com backslash business dash complete dash banking. Chase for business. Make more of what's yours. Quick Accept is not available in U.S. territories. Enrollment required. Usage subject to approval. Same day deposits available for payments before 8 p.m. Eastern Time, Sunday to Friday. Fees and rates apply for checking and processing. Limitations and restrictions apply. Participants compensated. Merchant services provided by payment tax. LLC and We Pay Inc., subsidiaries of JP Morgan Chase Bank and a member of DIC. Looking to add more seafood to your diet? Stop by your local Stater Brothers Market and give our own Kate Cavell fish fillets a try. Kate Cavell offers a healthy and affordable way to enjoy delicious, fresh, off the dock taste all year round. We freeze our fillets close to the catch to lock in flavor and quality. Plus, they're individually wrapped for portion control and easy meal prep. Try wild caught pollock, cod, salmon, and more. Kate Cavell fish fillets, a great catch at a great Great price. Available at Stater Brothers Markets. And now a game of Commercial Chicken, brought to you by Progressive, where we see how long Flo can go without talking about insurance. Ready? Go. So the the weather is just all over the place lately, right? One day it's hot, and the next day it's uh, it's, it's windy for a while. It's like make up your mind already. Drivers who switch to Progressive to say big. Okay, you win. We can't help but save customers money. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Tell Alexa to play 104.3 MyFM on iHeartRadio. When you or your child are sick or hurt, feel safe and feel better faster at HogueUrgentCare.com iHeartRadio Los Angeles commemorates Black History Month by celebrating how black culture has shaped our Southern California communities. Fashion, art, food, music, local businesses, and more. Share your piece of black culture and influence throughout your city on Instagram and Twitter all month using hashtag Black History Month LA and hashtag sweepstakes for the chance to win a daily cash prize. Brought to you by Little Green Cactus Records. Yo! I'm Jordan. I'm Cam. And I'm Lenny. And together we are We The Con. For joining all of our Southern California neighbors and celebrating Black History Month. And we invite you to follow our journey on all social media platforms at We The Commas. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, let's go places. Well, this time traffic is sponsored by Stater Brothers, and it looks like they've wrapped up all the police activity on both sides of the 10 freeway. So westbound side at La Brea, all lanes have been reopened. That's still a parking lot from downtown for the 5. We'll stay busy to the 405. Eastbound side lanes are open. Traffic slows from just before La Cienega. That stays busy to La Brea, then improves from there. 110 freeway to Redbound is heavy from Manchester as you head over towards the 101. Westbound side of the 105, just before you get to Crenshaw, they're saying there's a car that broke down that's uh, blocking the carpool end of the left lane. That's adding to an already tough drive as you leave in Linwood from the 710. That will stay busy over towards the 405 where they did pair up an earlier motorcycle crash. And if you're heading into the Orange Crush, 5 southbound, just before you get to the 22, there's a pickup truck that broke down that's blocking lanes of that transition. Seeing minor delays on the southbound side of the 5, but also seeing brake lights eastbound 22 starting at the City Drive. Visit Stater Brothers Market's website and never miss a deal on groceries. While you're there, check out their weekly ad and sign up for digital deals for even more great savings throughout the store. Stater Brothers Market's never miss a deal. That's your traffic. I'm Tony Jordan with Valentine in the Morning and 104.3 My FM. Okay, 7.35, the weather today sunny, very, very windy. Man, it was howling so much last night and this morning. Hopefully it's starting to come down. But the wind's going to be on and off with us for a number of days here. Tam 60s low, 70s, 48 Glendale, 43 Chino Hills. Jill's got the Hollywood headlines coming up. Can Taylor Swift's re-recording of her albums eventually lead to a Grammy nomination? I'll tell you coming up at 7.50. We're having a very classy conversation about who accidentally saw you naked or maybe who you saw naked. I can't think of anybody that saw me naked. I'm sure over the years people have, you know, outside of a window like Jill's story, but uh, they never brought it to my attention, so well, I'm in the dark about it. There was okay. one time we were all down in the gym mm -hmm. and we accidentally saw you in the buff. Oh, yeah? Yep. But we were just so impressed. We didn't want to say anything because you're just like a Greek god of physical fitness. <laughs> 
Brian and I just left. Uh, yeah, your ego is too big of Yeah, exactly. This is there's nothing about this. It's true. Um, I do. I remember seeing my friend Brian Miller. I saw his dad naked when I was a little kid. I was yeah. just like it was like a sleepover. I was in his house and going to bed or going to the bathroom in the middle of the night, and uh, we passed each other in the hall, and he was naked, and he said. Oh, hey, bud. And I'll never no. forget it. Oh, that's the creepiest oh, hey, bud, I've ever heard in my entire well, he life. He was, like, half asleep, and he was he has a deep, raspy voice anyway, and he was, you know, just going to the bathroom as well. And Who was the old guy yeah. you saw naked downstairs one time, though, actually? Remember that? You did bump into some oh, lots guy. Of, oh, lots of old nice. guys. Oh, you saw lots of old guys downstairs naked? Oh, yeah. Gym locker rooms, it's just full of old naked guys. <laughs> I think my butt touched an old naked guy's butt once, if that's what you're talking about. Nope, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'll read some texts here. Uh, let's stop talking about me. This says, I walked in a back room at work and caught a coworker with his pants down. To this day, he avoids me at all costs. Oh, no. Uh, Why was he doing that at work? No idea. This one says, my brother-in-law accidentally walked in on me using the restroom. Um, and then Rachel said, my father-in-law walked into the wrong hotel room on our wedding day. I know the bride and groom aren't supposed to see each other on the wedding day, but I'd also advise against your groom's dad seeing you naked on the wedding day. <laughs> hey, Nicole, who saw you naked? Um, most of the cast members on Space Mountain. <gasps> oh, oh, no. Most of the oh, cast no. members on Space Mountain? Why Why were you naked at Space Mountain? So my husband and I were at the park on a summer day, and I had these new pants. Oh, not all right. his phone. So we get on Space Mountain, and he's freaking out, so it keeps falling out of his pocket. Yeah. And we're going up to that like front bay where like they're ready, like they're tying you to go on the ride. And he's like, "Can you just hold it? We're gonna lose it on the roller coaster." I'm like, "All right."